Hello everybody and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. If you're wondering why I'm not in game right now, it's because I recorded this as one whole video and I realized that was the the last two parts of the gameplay were together were four hours long and I was like, oh I can upload this separately. So that's what I'm doing here. So don't click off the video. I will get into the gameplay just right now. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Which in fact I did use so there's a door over there that I can... No, there's not. Where exactly can I go from here? You know, because it said... It had a voice line on it. So there's got to be another way in, right? From maybe a different angle. Actually, that seems like we could go from the other side to get here. Huh, so somehow I gotta get to the other side. But the problem is that I can't get... through either of these areas. Can't go through there. Somehow I've got to get to the other side. The other side's blocked, right? See, that's blocked there, but that's where I need to go. I need to get there somehow. Right? So... Oh, I forgot about this area. This is probably where I needed to get be. Okay, I know where that is because I was just trying to get there just a second ago. Boom, I seen that earlier, that's where I was trying to get to as well. Where over here can I get down there? Can I get down from there? Oh, I just thought of something, over here. No, that still doesn't help me. I need some way to get through here. Right? What exactly can I do from here? Right, there's gonna be something I can do from here, right? They would have had this area just for nothing, or would they? Guess that possibly they would. Just for a few items. So maybe if I go back up to the top. There might be something else I can interact with up here.
The winch is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Already been here. See if that'll do better. Maybe that this can break the barrels and the other cannot. something I'm looking for. I was hoping that would have been an achievement, but no. They wouldn't have this here for no reason. Something I'm missing, right? I don't appear to have found anything that would help me. That would have helped me later on. Maybe there's a way to jump down on the other side. Well, there's a staircase on the other side. That could be a possibility. What is there to do exactly? No, there's no drop down over there. What is there that I can do? Okay. 
What is there that I can do? be a reason for this, right? Wait a second. I know where that is. Nothing. is powered by electricity. I need to find a way to turn it on before I can use it. Okay. There's supposedly a white door in here that can be broken down with a melee weapon. Why is this not openable? I'll be able to get to the other side now. No, I cannot.
Okay, this is not getting me anywhere. Are you kidding me? That is the least obvious thing of all time. That is not obvious at all. Looks pretty weak. I just think- <laughs> That was not obvious whatsoever.
definitely needs fuel. Boom, I'm back. This definitely needs fuel. Yeah, okay, so I know about this sort of because I read a few things. Now I just need to find a way to f fuel. I'm gonna go through here and check things real quick, simply because I think after I put that fuel in, then it's gonna be be a big run rush to move on or wait is that door openable no there's no animation wow which I guess you can't be too detailed or it would have taken longer for this game to come out. Um, I don't know how much longer this game is. I don't know if this is going to be the last part or not. You probably know by the title. As you can probably tell, I'm not probably I'm probably gonna do terrible right now. about to make it I was hoping he was going to go to a cutscene please tell me I don't have to use this boat please I have enough trouble steering a boat in the sinking city I don't I don't need it here either which I think I'll go back to playing the Sinking City after I finish this game, maybe, possibly. It's just that the Sinking City is... Don't get me wrong, I love the Sinking City. It's, uh... It's... It's just one of those games that... Takes a while to beat, and since there's... I might have to start doing longer videos on it. Simply because there's no uh, good thumbnails to work with. Unless I start getting more creative with my thumbnails. Which, sure, I think it's a- I can always get more creative. I'm the catalyst. 
I had to die to make this story. Oh, Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. You're not making any sense, Jeremy. Come back. Find hey. your focus. Hey! I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. Again, find hey. your focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in hey. play. I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? No. Actually, actually, I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go... look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. I... I think he knows more... That was Jeremy's self-deceit? A steamboat stuck in the mud? I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. Uh, first floor hall key. I have that first floor hall key. Uh, I know, uh, first floor hall key. Is that this way or? That's right here. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Okay. Sometimes. Don't care. Pretty much just going around trying to pick up all, as many collectibles as I can before I go to. Carfi has something hidden inside. So I'll need an item for that. Thing in here. Let me take a quick drink real quick. He wanted me to go in here. This is my room. I re I belong. Can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. One nine six XXLA. One nine six, remember that. That's this, right? I know the combination. I carry it with me. One nine six. One then two three four five six seven eight nine and then six one two three four five six that's not it uh let me see six x x x one nine six another combination i carry it with me one nine six 
692. 692. So, 6. Go 692. Six. Seven, eight, nine. No, so six. I don't know what. Wait, one nine six. Get that straight. One nine six six nine two. So one nine six six. Nine. I'm not good with combinations of locks. I'm not even good with it. I don't think I'd be good at it in real life either. I know the code, but... What is this called on the map? The right. Oh, okay, so it's left nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right one, and then left eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go here again. Oh, I was looking at the wrong code. So it's six right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then two left. I think I did that wrong. So this this way's right, okay. So it's six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two left. Okay, let's try that again. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Nine right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two left. One, two. See, I'm not good at this. Okay, let, let me see a video. I don't know, I'm better at, at... at seeing a video of it than I am from reading directions. I don't know, I'm more of a visual learner. I've always been that way. Yeah, yeah, I know the combination, I just don't know how to import it. It's one. So, uh, 
What the actual crap? Let me see this again. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. He goes one this way. Okay. So he goes one this way. Then all the way back to this. Then all the way back to five. Then all the way back around to five. And then, no, then to here. That should have worked. I must have messed it up somehow. Let me restart. One this way. Okay, let's try this again. Six left. Two, three, four, five, six. Then nine right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And two left. Okay, so now we'll try it the other way. So six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then two left. Okay, let's see this again now. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That went by too fast. So I go... All the way to five from here. So let me try this again. Boom, boom, boom. Go all the way from there. Then go all the way here. And then go... That is too complicated for me. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. 
How long have I been here? Okay, one second, I've got to go check something, and I'll be back in just a second. Let me pause. Okay, I'm back. Let me take a drink real quick. Then I'll get going again. At this point, I don't think, the way the story's progressing, I don't think this is really what's going on. I think the coin probably goes to this hidden cabinet. Because remember it said, what's his name's treasure? Something hidden inside. Okay, the missing picture. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Of course. What the hell happened in here? Oh, this is just like that uh, scene from the prologue that we played a while back. That's the only thing it can do now is go through this door. Okay, and I've been here before because I did that puzzle there.
There we go. figure out where I'm going first. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. So how do I do this then exactly? I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Hmm. So I was reading the difference between the different campaigns. Apparently this is the only different part for each campaign. The rest of it is exactly the same besides the conversations that the characters have. So I was originally thinking I was going to replay this possibly. Because apparently you can't get all the collectibles unless you play both campaigns. Assume this is where I'm going right here. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information on the DS. So he needed some convincing. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. Okay. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on the easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. I don't remember this at all. I can't say it didn't happen.
No. Candlesticker, what are we playing, Clue? I have Clue on Steam, actually. And I've been meaning to make videos on it, but I just haven't. I don't know, I just didn't feel like people would enjoy it on my channel, I don't know. Which I know they recently made a new version of Clue on Steam. I have the original still, but there's a new, like, more, like, animated version. Available. On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up. I owed them money. A lot of them. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt for the size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. Oh, sorry for the lag. I don't know why it did that. That napkin. Oh, I remember that from the first game. There was a puzzle with that napkin, actually. I remember that in the first game, whenever the hall, there was that hallway that had the... Uh, I found it. They had like the Indian painting that was throwing like shooting arrows or throwing axes or something like that, and I thought that was cool. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Something about that name, Ted Striker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Sorry about the lag. Catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? Okay, I was making sure I couldn't go into the other rooms because number one collectibles.
That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. This is where I caught up. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Actually, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this open back? <gasps> oh, this is the same hotel. I, I thought it was going to be like, move back to the more realistic. Uh, back to what it looked like inside the cabin for real. But I guess that's still cool. That they're making it so it's like... Yeah, I think that's better than it's, uh, a torch that's been almost out. I think that's what I had previously, I think. It might be something else that just looked like that to me. I think the bridge is what we're supposed to be going to, but I just wanted to check this real quick. I'm sorry, I just wasn't expecting that. Okay. So now I got this extra item that we were looking for for... I can go up here to the bridge. I can't go that way. Okay, I was just checking because, you know, achievements and all are... always something to hunt for. I think that's where I started, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's where I started. Oh no. It was her all along. I didn't recognize it. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Is any of this real? How do you mean? This day, just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself! I'm down there with him, remember? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car.
I guess I should start using the shotgun more because we must be the bridge is operated. Because we haven't used it in forever. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Oh, is there boss fights in this game? I think there's a boss fight right now. I don't get it. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't understand. Where am I supposed to go? I don't get it. Am I really that much of an idiot that I... jump.
I was on the wrong side, wasn't I? I just did not realize that for the past, I don't know how many minutes, I didn't have my webcam on. Uh oh. Oh my god, Carnby. Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! Uh. Detective, Mr. Carnby, I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <sighs> this place, it's... There are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I wanna know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Okay, now what? I did not mean to do that, but okay. Let's see oh. here, map. Uh, let's see.
Aha. So if I can't go to the next area. There's gotta only be one way I can go then. I can't leave. I got a job to do. So if I can't go anywhere down here, it's gotta be something upstairs, doesn't it? So it's gotta be this way. Right? Let me check everything. Okay, so that is pretty clear where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I got it. Detective, am I glad to see you. Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us sniffing around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. No. This is so terrible. Which I also think that, uh, I understand why they're doing this for a nostalgia-esque thing. There's a book missing. What did you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. See, I understand they're trying to do the nostalgia thing, which I think they also did this with. Well, THQ, I mean, not the developers. THQ also did this with... Uh, Dark, Dark Mirror, is that what it's called? Which, I haven't played that because I'm it is... I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Good to finally meet you. I don't care about that. That mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at? I don't know, and I don't care because it's the tank and in monograph by Yael. <sighs> what were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, or Shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Okay, well. Has that been there this whole time? Oh, tank controls are terrible. I don't get why people prefer this.
I don't get why people prefer tank controls over the over the shoulder because over the shoulder is way far more superior to me at least because tank controls annoy me. Hello? It, it, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Okay, so it's supposed to be this. Down, 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 up, up. Okay, let's see this. Much before. There we go. You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just... stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Okay. Wood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to... 
whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Harper. <laughs> I think it would be the opposite way if you play the other campaign, but... Oh. oh. Finally back to normal. the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of Okay, I get it. Oh, speaking of the Arctic, did you see the, uh, they're making a remaster, uh, Night Dive Studios is making a remaster of the thing, video game. Which is tank control, so, <sighs> you know, someone that doesn't like tank controls because of the combat's so difficult with tank controls to me. That's why I haven't played, I don't like to play games with tank controls because of that. I rage a lot at the first Alone in the Dark because of the tank controls, and I rage a lot at the second one because of the tank controls. And then that's why I haven't played the third or fourth game yet, is because the tank controls annoy me. But, if you're asking, I there's some tank controls that I can handle. Like the, uh... Like, for instance, I can handle the tank controls from, uh the Dark Pictures games in the quarry because there's no combat. Combat's what really gets me in tank controls because I can't do combat in tank controls. Combat's just too difficult for me to aim and tank with tank control so that just annoys me. This reminds me a lot of Canarium. What are you doing right here? here, the final scene in Canarium. Place. Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Wrong, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This guy is wild. Yeah, this is very much so Canarium esque. Just remember they had this portal thing in Canarium too. Oh crap, this puzzle is going to be hard. Uh, of course, the Taurus. I figured you wouldn't want your stars aligned, Jeremy, or uh, maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours. Okay then, in my defense, okay, my defense, I was trying to get a screenshot. I hate this. I would hate to fight this guy on hard mode. Ugh. 
this guy's gonna get me. out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling. You're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? What? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But... He's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Are you kidding me? This can't be the ending. No. No. Hey, Ruth. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. She's got the mask it's on no from the first game. Draw, but it ain't bad. I, I don't understand. What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for the stone. Radio says it could be a wild one. I, this can't be real. That is 
one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Yes, I know. I fought the fought I fought that tree in the original. <laughs> All right, tell me what the hell's about to happen here. Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol. It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change. Remain the same. Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. Huh. Okay, I assume that's... Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Okay. Hell are their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. And take pity on us. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. I didn't actually think this was really gonna happen. I thought they were gonna scrap this since it was so bizarre. Am I gonna fight him? I can't let that monster leave Dersetto. I have to stop it. Wait a minute. I 
I'm honestly surprised that this, I can, I'm actually gonna get to fight the tree again. How do I, where do I go? What do I do exactly? Oh! I really thought they were going to do an ending like where it was all just a stupid dream or something like that and I was like going to be so mad. This is some RE4 type. Okay, real quick, let me turn down the audio. Okay, this is sick.
The techno. Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black boat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kinda like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Alright, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need Saber. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. Yay, I'm important. So guys, I really enjoyed the game and the ending. I love that they brought back the the boss from the first from the original. Uh, yeah. Play with. Anyways, if you all did enjoy this my playthrough, make sure to like, and subscribe if you already, and I'll see you all in the next video. So guys, I think I kind of rushed the outro, so I wanted to talk about the game a little bit more. So. Pretty much, I did enjoy it for the most part. Um, I thought the puzzles were really cool. I was kind of real, if you didn't notice, I was kind of really bad at the uh, save, putting in the save combination, so I had to watch a few videos on how to do that. So I think in real life, I would not be able to open a save. I'm pretty sure, like, that saves don't have tutorial videos on what your combination is specifically. So yeah, um, I did like how they did a lot of callbacks to the uh, original. And I liked how they did the um, final boss fight, which I've already said that I love that they did that tree boss fight because there was the tree boss fight in the original. Uh, yeah. Again, I would think I would like to thank uh, the developers and publisher for allowing me to have a review key, uh, which I got through Game Tomb, which I really appreciate. The all the people over at Game Tomb, they actually. Uh, I actually got in contact with them and they helped me out a lot with uh, how their website works. So, yeah, I would like to thank them. I'd like to thank the uh, publisher, developer. Yeah, it was all around a great experience for me. And I hope you all enjoyed too. And I hope you all subscribe because, yeah, on the road to 1K. I've been saying that for like four years now and we haven't made it. So, yeah. Go check out my other videos. I, I've done a lot of different games similar to this. I've done uh, the Dark Pictures series. I've played through that. I've played through a few of the Resident Evil games, one of the Silent Hill games. Um, Alan Wake, a bunch of other stuff. And then a lot of indie stuff as well. Uh, yeah. So guys, I thank you all for watching this playthrough. And... I'll see y'all in the next video.